All right, I'm back with BioWare's Casey Hudson, and for the very first time, we're heading to Earth in Mass Effect 3. Casey, take us there. Right. Well, we've never been to the Earth in, in the Mass Effect series, and so this is actually a pretty big deal for us. We get to show you what the Earth is going to look like in the future, and it's not looking good. The Reapers have arrived. This is the beginning of the Galactic War. Now, who is that with Commander Shepard there? So up ahead is uh, Captain Anderson. So that's an example of... Uh, one of the key characters that have been in the Mass Effect series before. He's kind of your mentor, your, your uh, moral compass, you know, so lots of other characters like that that you might have seen in, in previous games are back. Pretty much all of the key characters are in this game. But because this is the beginning of the Galactic Wars, this is also a really great place to start because this is the beginning and, and the end of uh, really all the biggest events in the Mass Effect universe, which, you know, I think you'll see in this scene, um, we're also you know, telling this huge story, but also on a level that uh, gets pretty um, intimate in terms of the emotional level we're going to. Well, let's take a look. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! Get here! So they're going to move on up ahead, and one thing that you'll see is we're actually really integrating a lot of these uh, things that Shepard can do and, and uh, movement, things like that, into the actual cinematics of the game in a way that's pretty seamless. So Shepard is going to be uh, moving, looking at really big events that happen, um, like this Reaper that's landing on the Earth. Um, and, and we're going to tie in a lot of these action moments in a way that people have never seen in the Mass Effect universe before. You mentioned this being an emotional journey before, and, and obviously this ties up a lot of loose ends. Talk a little bit about the difficulty in making a cohesive experience that does just that. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Mass Effect has these huge over-the-top moments like we're looking at right here, but it really is also about trying to make you care about these things by actually developing relationships. And so uh, that's one of the things that we're doing more. We're really focusing on the team that you're putting together in Mass Effect 3, um, it is very much a, a war story, so it has, you know, an overall backbone to it that uh, is aside from assembling your, your team. But that also is part of it, though, is developing this relationship with your squad. And for players who've been with us for a few games, they'll be able to import their character and the decisions that they've made might actually determine, you know, even who's alive and dead, even at the beginning of Mass Effect 3. And some new enemies <clears throat> we're taking a look at here as well, correct? That's right. In Mass Effect 3, the Reapers are actually, uh, they're working with Cerberus, which is a, a pro-human group. You gotta figure out why that is. They're also kind of mutating a lot of different kinds of uh, creatures. They kind of mutate them and mash them together into some pretty horrific creatures you're looking at here. Um, and also some of the biggest enemies that we've ever had. They're, they're uh, you know, not just uh, guys that can run and fight with a gun, but they get bigger and bigger. So there's some pretty amazing enemies in Aspect 3 as well. You mentioned Cerberus, and obviously the elusive man was a, a very integral character to Mass Effect 2, making a return. That's right. The elusive man is behind all the stuff that Cerberus is doing, of course, so you'll be able to figure out more of that stuff as well. Excellent. And what's happening here, Casey? Nobody. This is Anderson. So Anderson and Shepard are uh, looking to escape the planet somehow, They're trying to get the Normandy, and uh, you know they're fighting for their lives, but they really need to get picked up. Right. Lieutenant. Replicating that sense of urgency that you had Damn. in Mass Effect 2, especially during the beginning Let's part of the game, was that difficult to try to trump what you did in Mass Effect 2, which so many people recognize as being completely epic? Yeah, I think we, uh, we knew that we wanted to start strong, and this is really the, the, the strongest, biggest opening we've ever had, and it just gets bigger and bigger from there. Mass Effect 3 has these massive moments, but again, they're, they're really rooted in... Uh, a lot of the emotion and the big payoffs. So even something like, uh, you know, just fighting it out, trying to survive, and then having the Normandy come in, you know, that's, that's one of the things we're trying to capture, but it just gets bigger and bigger from there. And what do we have there? 
So we've got the Normandy, so it's an opportunity for Shepard now to get back together with at least some of his friends from the past. All right, well, I know you guys delayed it recently, but there's a firm release date. When is Mass Effect 3 coming out? Mass Effect 3 comes out March 6, 2012 on Xbox 360, PS3, and the PC. All right, we got some familiar friends as well. That's right, you can see Ashley there, and uh, I've got the Normandy, so Joker's probably inside, and uh, they're ready to go. Very exciting. We appreciate your time so very much. Thanks for showing us Mass Effect 3.